Hi everybody, it's PJ and I'm laying in bed and I came across the grumpy witchy tag. That sounds funny, doesn't it? So let's do this. Um, okay, we're going to try it anyway. Alright, the first question is, do you have a least favorite time of year magically? Yes. Um, okay, so in the summer is like my best time of year not magically. Like if I was just um, uh, to say what's your favorite time of year, just like as a person, I would say the summer would be it. But magically, I tend not to do as much because I'm so busy doing other stuff, you know? And, and I love the heat and the sun and I love sitting outside and all that but I tend to get more scattered in the summer which I'm paying for now this room is a disaster I need to go through my clothes and all that so do you hear Mabel snorting but um so yes I would say magically the summer is probably the worst time of year because I don't get enough done magically okay is there an herb that you don't like working with or never seem to work in your practice an herb you know there's not an herb but there is an incense and it's like the Sun incense and it's in candles too and uh, they always put it out around Leo so the end of the summer I guess it would be and um there's a smell to it I don't like uh, I don't know what it's called or what herb in the candle or oil or essence in the candle that I don't like, but there is a smell that drives me insane that I don't like. So yes, there is, and I don't know the name of it, so there you go. But I tend to stay away from um, like anything that <laughs> that's Leo because I know it's like connected with that time of year. Okay, is there a stone or crystal you don't like to work with or never seems to add anything to your practice? No, not at all. Um, I'm pretty good with all the stones. I love anything from the earth, really. But, I, like I said, that one smell annoys me. It almost reminds me of, like, cilantro, and I can't eat cilantro either. I think that stuff smells and... Ugh. Is there anything that bothers you about your deity or your practice I don't really have a deity to be honest um, no one I think that they all lead you to the same place so to me whether it's Christ or Buddha or a goddess or whatever it is uh, I believe they all kind of get you to the same place so I don't mind that other people have them but no one speaks to me separately um, And is there anything that bothers me about them? No, not really. Unless people like sometimes use it against you and that I don't like. I think that people shouldn't use anything spiritual like against another to make themselves feel good. You know what I mean? Okay. What do you do when a spell doesn't work? Um, okay. When a spell doesn't work, I pretty much look to me. Like... Um, all spells for me are much, much to do about intention. So if I didn't do my homework, like if I didn't meditate on it long enough, or if I wasn't specific enough, that's another thing. So many times people are very vague. I need money. And then they get $10 the next day and they're like, the spell didn't work. No, you didn't put a specific amount. They don't know, you know, you have to kind of be really specific with spell work. So for me, um, if a spell doesn't work, I usually go back to the basics and see where I was lacking. Oh, see what I mean about this hair? I'm, I'm swear I'm going to cut bangs. Um, where I was lacking in the spell in the first place that didn't come across or wasn't understood well enough. So I always look to me if something doesn't work and then I just redo it. Okay, have you ever done a meditation or astral work that did nothing for you? Hell yes, all the time. I mean, one of my biggest uh, lear lessons, teachings that I'm going through right now. Oh my God, hair is annoying. Um, that I'm going through right now is that I'm trying to get uh, better 
at going when I want to go and not going when I want to go. So many times it's kind of out of my hands, like when I end up going on a journey, because like I'll be not even. I'll be not even like thinking of going and then all of a sudden I'm there and so you deal with what you have to deal with but I wish I was so much better at just not going if I didn't want to go especially when I'm tired and it's a weeknight and come on you know what I mean like you're exhausted afterwards so um yes all the time but also uh there are whole you know Sundays where I spend two hours trying to go and can't go so uh, I certainly don't have that down to an art but when I go I love it I love everything about the astral plane I actually listened to a podcast this weekend about it and how they were saying like okay so this guy was saying that we were all really none of us are really human we're just all beings and this is the form we took so if you shed that being when when i flip over i'm me okay I don't know. come on here when i flip over i'm me like i think i'm a younger version of myself but i'm me i don't look like anything else but really that's just because that's what my consciousness is telling me to perceive myself as so they were actually saying that when you click over ask yourself to go to your higher self like will yourself to your highest self and it will not be the human being in front of you so that's what i'm going to do next time if i can i mean again there's a limitation on me still because i'm not i'm not an expert on flipping into another world like that but i want to be like that is my goal like hair in my mouth this is getting cut is there an element that doesn't work for you no there's no element earth air fire water all of it works i can use all kinds of stuff with that incense for air or, or burning or smoke or there's so much to it uh, for fire i've used used um actual fire i've also used incense candles like no i like all the elements and they all they all work for me how do you get out of a witchy rut that's a good question because i get those in the summer like i said in this summer is probably my heart sorry about the lighting i'm just sitting in front of a computer um in my summer uh is when i get that rut you know i get like kind of like oh you know i have so much to do or i have places to go or cook it or whatever it is that's mundane your daily life that kind of stops you I'm really getting frustrated that stops you from uh, doing more witchcraft that you might have planned for so um, getting out of a witchy rut uh, mostly I like I'll like get a book or start some crafts or, or write um, I love to write I think a lot of witches are like really creative and the more that you create even if it's not with witchcraft the more you'll come up with like ways to get out of that rut how, what, how do you deal with life getting in the way of your practice not well I don't sleep a lot um, I have so many things I want to do I work a seven-day week y'all know um, how do I deal with it I, I get frustrated I mean I haven't listen I'm not the master of everything and that's one thing like do I have like two hours that I put aside? No, I, I'm too harem scarum for that. And I also have to feel a certain way, you know? So no, uh, -uh. uh I don't deal with it well. And my bedroom right now is proof of that because I should be up cleaning and getting shit together and instead I'm on with you reading the grumpy witchy tag. <laughs> okay when you have all of these negative feelings about your practice what do you do i don't tend to be very negative anyway um just as a rule i'm not a drama queen i believe there's enough hardness in the world that oh oh 
I was like, where'd the light go? It was the computer went off. Um, I'm not a drama queen. It's the last question anyway. I'm not a drama queen, you know. I tend to uh, look at life pretty in a pretty uh, positive way. I I don't like talking about other people. I like to live a show. It's itching me. Good Lord. I like to live a chivalrous life. And when I say that, I mean, I like to live a life um, where, you know, you, you're you not looking for the drama. You're looking for the peace in life. You're looking to be the peacemaker, not the drama maker. You're looking for, like, I, I just live a different kind of life. I am not a negative person. I think that brings and draws negativity to you, which I don't want in my life. I totally believe that what you put out there comes back to you. So I want it to be all good and positive. I don't want it to be like negative. So no, mm -mm. I don't live a negative life. I don't tend to be negative. And so that's not really something, that's not really something I like deal with on a regular basis. Anyway, that was the witchy tag here. <laughs> you can see me again. Sorry. That was the witchy tag. And yeah, I think that uh, it's a fun little tag to do. I had a few minutes laying in bed, figured, let me do the witchy tag. <laughs> I know, it's stupid. But anyway, I love you guys. Bye.